Hi, my name's Lou, welcome to my channel. And in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple drawstring bag like this one. So my reason for making a drawstring bag was that a few weeks ago, I made some bamboo makeup wipes. And these are great, they're really soft, and they take makeup off fine. And then I've just been washing them in the sink with a bit of detergent. But that's not really been getting them all that clean, so I want to be able to put them in the washing machine. But I don't want them getting lost in the door seal, so I thought I'd make a little bag and they can go in the bag and then in the washing machine and then hopefully they'll come out all bright and shiny. So I've made these out of a plain cotton calico because I wanted something that was going to be hard wearing and, uh, and really simple and quite, uh, quite minimalist and uh, something quite utilitarian. But if you wanted to make these out of um, a nicer cotton or even an organza or something like that, then they'd make a really nice gift bag. So that's a, a really good option for Christmas gifts and birthday gifts, is to make a few bags in a few different sizes and then you can pop a little gift inside. I'm going to start by cutting my fabric to size. And I'm using pinking shears here to stop the fabric fraying so much. But if you don't have pinking shears, don't worry. Ordinary scissors will work just fine, you just may have a few extra stray threads in the inside of your bag. Now I'm making my bag to the size that I want it, so you can make these any size you like. For reference I want my bags to be 20 centimeters wide, so I've measured 23 centimeters across, so I've got a one and a half uh, centimeter seam allowance on each side. And I decided I wanted it to be 25 centimeters long and I've added four centimetres at the top on each side. Now I've made mine in one long rectangle and folded it halfway, but you can do yours into shorter rectangles and sew all the way around if you want. My fabric was a bit creased, so I'm giving it a bit of an iron. Now I've folded my fabric in half with the fold along the what will be the bottom edge of the bag, and I'm pinning down both sides. And I'm going to make some marks on the bag with some tailor's chalk and I'm marking at five centimetres and six and a half centimetres down and I'm just adding some extra pins in there to remind me not to sew over that bit. That's going to be the channel where I put my drawstrings in. So I'm going to start sewing down one and a half centimetre seam allowance and then when I get to that first mark, the five centimetres, I'm stopping, reinforcing my seam and then I'll lift the foot up, move the fabric down to the second mark, start sewing again. Again, sewing backwards and forwards to reinforce the seam at the beginning. And then on the way back up the other side of the bag, I'm doing exactly the same thing. Reinforcing the seam on the first mark, lifting the foot, placing it down on the second mark, reinforcing the seam again, and then sewing to the end. So now I've got my fabric and it's got a little gap in it, just there. So I'm going to give this a good press and then I'm going to press the seams open at the top. I just need to do down to where that, uh, that opening is, I don't need to do the whole bit of the bag. I just open them out and then use the iron to press that open. Now I'm folding down the top of the bag and this is going to create the channel that I'm going to um, put my drawstrings into. So I fold it down a little bit to start with, so about a centimetre, and then I folded it over another three centimetres. And I've pressed it, and I'm going to pin it, and then sew all the way around that. That's going to give me a channel all the way around the top of the bag that the drawstrings can go into and uh, feed out through that little gap on either side. Now my sewing machine has this arm that you can remove and for this small bag I've taken that off so that I can get the whole neck of the opening of the bag uh, around the, uh, the, the smaller arm of the machine. And I'm sewing really close to that fold, just a couple of millimetres away from the fold sewing that all around and then trimming the threads 
and then you should see the openings where you can pull your drawstrings through. Now I've got all sorts of bits of ribbon and cord so I'm just picking something that I already had that will work for this project and checking that I've got enough of it so I've folded it in four because each bit needs to go through twice I need two bits so I've cut it in half and then on one end I'm going to attach the safety pin and find one of those openings in the top of the bag and start um, squeezing and pushing that safety pin through and when you get to the other side you need to keep going so don't pull your drawstring out the other side you need to go all the way around the bag and pull it out through the opening that it went in at and then tighten a knot and that will stop the ends of the cord disappearing into the bag now a drawstring bag will close with one drawstring but if you want to keep it closed you really need two so that one goes in the other side so the other opening that you've got nothing coming out of. Start feeding it through there. Again, go right past the opening on the uh, far side of the bag and right through to the hole that it went in at. So again, take the safety pin off and tie it in a knot. So now we've got both ribbons through the bag and when we pull on them the bag will close and it will stay nice and closed, nice and tight and keep everything inside, inside. So thanks very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit the like button down below and if you want to see more videos like this then please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!